update coming in as far as the Turkey-Syria earthquake is concerned. Unfortunately, now we're understanding over 1,600 people have lost their lives in total as far as the Turkey-Syria earthquake is concerned and over 2,800 buildings in Turkey have already been destroyed. Relief and rescue operations continue on the ground. Let's bring in our colleague Abhishek, who in fact has been tracking these developments. Abhishek, with each passing hour, the death toll is increasing, the number of injured also increasing. There is also a fear that this number could increase manifold times. Talk to us about the kind of relief operations and rescue operations that are taking place. Uh, so, Ridhima, clearly this is one of the one of the major tragedy that the world has seen in the recent years. Uh, Turkey was uh, uh, Turkey is uh, facing uh, currently a uh, 7.4 magnitude of earthquake. Uh, the, uh, the earthquake hit at a time when most of the people were inside their house; they were sleeping. It was at 4 a.m. in the morning, and this is the one. This is one of the reasons why uh, why the the death toll could actually go manifold than what is being reported right now. 600 uh, people have been officially confirmed dead. Uh, but it looks like the figure will only go up from now. The help and aid from all around the globe has started pouring in, in Turkey, Syria and Lebanon. Those areas affected with this latest earthquake. India is also uh, in, under the uh, chairmanship of uh, Prime Minister Modi has chaired uh, a meeting of a uh, high-level meeting to re to leave, to send relief material and a team of NDRF with medics, with paramedics and special equipment so that people who are still buried under the debris could be rescued and uh, retrieved. Uh, so the, the world over, this, this uh, people, leadership, uh, leaders are mourning uh, the death and they have extended uh, the help, aid and all type of technical assistance that Turkey, uh, Syria, Lebanon, all this area who have uh, been victim of this uh, earthquake are needing at this point of time. Right. Abhishek, as you rightly pointed out that, you know, help is pouring in from all quarters. India also is providing all possible help. There was a meeting that happened as far as the PMO is concerned, talk to us about the specific help that is being sent from India. So India, uh, like today, there was a meeting uh, uh, in the, uh, uh, at Prime Minister office where uh, it was decided that India will be sending about NDR a team of 100 personnel with specially trained dog squads and necessary equipment, uh, which are already ready because NDR team is always ready for this emergency situation. Uh, and the contingency plans, uh, plans and teams are always on standby. Uh, the team will also have paramedics uh, and uh, trained doctors uh, with essential medicines, relief, uh, relief materials will be dispatched in coordination with the government of Turkey. So uh, the Indian government is at, uh, at some level having some coordination uh, meeting with the Turkey government also uh, so that the relief material which goes from India is immediately uh, applied uh, on the ground and it's not waited. Uh, the team does not have to, not have to wait for long and... Uh, India has okay. had the experience of handling such a crisis uh, in past also. So, uh, and those equipments, those high-grade cutters and electronic welding machines, these are the necessary equipments that Turkey will be needing right now because as you were mentioning, yeah. uh, thousands of buildings have collapsed and the visuals are very scary. The buildings are falling like a pack of cards. So uh, clearly, a lot of people are still uh, buried under the rubbles yeah. and debris. And these dogs, of course, will help also to... Uh, identify people who are still alive and uh, can be rescued. Yeah. Abhishek, we leave the conversation there. Thanks a lot for getting us all those details. Let's also now listen in to what the Prime Minister had to say as far as the help that will be given from India. Turkey mein aaye binashkari bhukam par hum sabhi ki drashti lagi hui hai. बहुत से लोगों की दुखद मृत्यु और बहुत नुकसान की खबरें हैं तुर्की के आसपास के देशों में भी नुकसान की आशंका है भारत के 140 करोड़ लोगों की संवेदनाएं सभी भूकंप पीड़ितों के साथ हैं भारत भूकंप पीड़ितों की हर संभव मदद के लिए तत्पर है and it's not just India, but the international community coming together to help Turkey in this hour of need. We'll keep tracking those developments. With that, it's a wrap from my side. But news continues here on CNN News 18.